What's up, Ohio? Not much, man. <clears throat> hey, the question was for uh, Joe. Yeah. What's up, dude? Oh, hey, uh, Stan Hope was on Raw Dog not too long ago talking about you guys back in the man, the man show days. Said so you guys are out there and he some kind of drug or something just totally spaced him out. I'm oh, DMT. Guys... Yeah, it's called dimethyltryptamine. It's produced by your pineal gland. It's actually a gland that that lives that's in the center of your brain. It's it's the craziest drug ever. It's the most potent psychedelic known to man. Literally, it's but the craziest thing is about it is it's natural. And your brain produces it every night as you sleep. You know, when you sleep during the time you're in heavy REM sleep and right before human death, your brain pumps out heavy doses of dimethyltryptamine. Nobody knows what <laughs> sleep Jesus is Christ. all about. <laughs> and nobody knows what dreaming is important, why dreaming is important. But dreaming is hugely important. If you don't dream, you'll go fucking crazy and you'll die. And wow. while you're dreaming, while you're in heavy REM sleep you are going through a psychedelic trip. And very few people know about this. But it's been documented. There's a great book on it called DMT, The Spirit Molecule by a doctor named Dr. Rick Strassman. And he did all these clinical studies at the University of New Mexico on it. And you take this shit and literally you are transported into another fucking dimension. I don't mean like you feel like you're in another dimension. I mean like you're in <laughs> another dimension. You're With in furniture. another dimension where there's not no furniture, bro. There's fucking complex geometric patterns moving in synchronous order through the, through the air <laughs> all around you in three-dimensional space. And it's like they're arteries, except there's not blood pumping through them. There's fucking lights, pulsating lights lights with no boundaries and you can't really understand it and there's an alien communicating with me and there's a dude who looks like like sort of like a thai buddha except he's made entirely of energy and there's no there's no like outline to him he's just one thing and he's concentrating on me and he's trying to tell me not to give in to astonishment just relax and try to experience this. And I'm like, you got to be fucking shitting me. And I'm a stand-up comedian, you know, because as a stand-up comedian, we pride ourselves in being able to describe things. So I'm like, how the fuck am I going to talk about this? This is just insane because there's like a beat. It's like, doom, 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 doom. And there's all these fucking complex patterns moving around. And this guy's looking at me in the eye, and I am fucking freaking out. And it lasts for about five minutes. And when it's over... When it's over, after five minutes, you're like, what the fuck is that? Now, here's where it gets really crazy. Every oh, night. Wait, wait, wait. Every you're night. You're listening to Dr. Joe, Joe Rogan <laughs> on Brewer and Lee. Dimethyl trip to me. Look it up online. DMT. And you... When you're doing this every night when you go to sleep, when you have heavy REM sleep, nobody understands why we have to do that. It's never, it's never been figured out. But when you're doing it, you don't remember any of that experience. Well, the heavy doses that they gave people in clinical trials with the Strassman studies, the heavy doses produced the most profound effects, but nobody remembered them. There was no no remem memory of it whatsoever. That's a Much Dutch like though. you have when you go to sleep every night and then you wake up. Everyone dreams, everyone has DMT trips, and no one remembers it. Now, if you smoke it, it doesn't last nearly as long. It only lasts about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, but you remember it, but very fleeting. It's off. It's like a dream. Like, after the dream is over, you got to write it. I, re I remember it because I recorded it. I had a tape recorder, and I had a video camera, and when I came out of it, I just started talking about it, like, right away, as much as I could remember, but even, like, 30 seconds after I talked about it, I was like, man, how did it go? What happened? It's not like an experience, like, it, your, your brain is trying to protect you from that experience experience and the bigger the dose the more your brain protects you it literally shuts it off it's like a shut down valve and it happens to you every night man what now how do you get about a doubt because it, that's a great commercial how do we get this well here's Joe? the crazy thing here's the crazy <laughs> thing about it it's a human neurotransmitter it exists in every single one of us and yet it's one of the most illegal substances in the world is it more illegal than heroin it's just as illegal as it is the most illegal substance you could possibly get yet so Yet it exists in almost every ecosystem. It's in, in grasses and animals. It's the pineal gland that produces it literally is your third eye. In reptiles, it actually has a retina, a cornea, and a lens. Uh, so yeah. should we, like, like maybe a baby farm? You should farm. all smoke DMT yeah, yeah. and join my <laughs> cult, motherfucker! <laughs> I'm in. Dude, <laughs> dude, after the tirade, I'm in, man. I'm so telling like you, man, you will never, from you a baby never farm see or something. life. You, you can get it anywhere. You can get it you from can grass. Get it. You can get it from grass. There's all sorts of things online. If you, you have a, a, a fairly simple uh, chemist setup, you can, you can extract DMT from, <laughs> from grass.
Well, we've, from we've, grass now, cuttings. we've now violated Polaris the Patriot Act. Mono. He's right. That guy, <clears throat> D- Doug Stanhope, was on our show, wow. and he talked about this because yeah. I brought you well, up. There's two types of DMT. I've done one type with Doug, which is 5-methoxy dimethyltryptamine, which is DMT with a, a, um, an oxygen molecule attached to it. And then there's NN-DMT, which is the DMT that's excreted by your pineal gland. They're very similar in uh, experience, except the 5-methoxy dimethyltryptamine doesn't give you the uh, the visual effects. Bro, have you hiked in the rainforest yet? Just Dude, I've had I have an a, isolation uh, tank in my in my basement. There's no need to go to the rainforest. Fuck all that travel. <laughs> hey, after that little experience, man. I go in my Dude, isolation so tank under, with mushrooms. Well, where they do you are so go underutilizing that. you on that show, man? <laughs> I was just like, I'm saying you just stop. Tell the contestants to shut up and let Joe go. That's that's the fear factor there you go. right there. Everyone's going to do DMT and if you can survive it. Dude, and the aliens don't kill you and your head doesn't come out. Hope I tell everybody, man, just you, everybody in their life, if you live, you know, and you haven't had a heavy psychedelic experience and you haven't gone in an isolation tank, you've missed out. You've missed out on a huge chunk of what life really is. There, life is a massive fucking mystery. And there's only a few different ways to really crack below the surface of that mystery. And the, the best way is psychedelics. And the heavier the psychedelic, the better. And guess what? No one's dying from psychedelics. All our thoughts on psychedelics are all based on bullshit propaganda that we heard about people, you know, going crazy or losing their minds on it. You're not going to go crazy. You're going to go fucking sane. All right? All that stuff is going to remove your ego, and it's going to explain to you what the world is really all about and cuddle all the surface what areas is, of— What is the world really about? We're bacteria. <laughs> That's uh, what it's about. We, you, you ever fly over Shaka. Earth? Shaka. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Shaka yeah. is <laughs> so excellent. Exo- hold on, Chris. We're Dude, energy. Anything? Uh, yeah. This is your write up. Shock is out. Keep going, bro. I'm a student right now. Can can we get some Shaka music for Rogan and and Shaka? You want to get really crazy about what humans are all about, all right? And this is, it's not necessarily, you know, look, there's great things in us and there's beauty in people and there's, you know, babies are cute and shit like that. But when you get past that, a lot of what that stuff is is biological tricks that are all set up to make sure that we keep perpetuating the species, keep moving this thing forward. Now, why does a species want to move forward? Why does technology move forward? Why do we keep inventing new weapons and why do we keep inventing new crazy cell phones? What is this thirst for innovation? What's this all about? Well, this is what I think. If you fly into L.A., all right, you're going over those mountains, man. You see these beautiful fields and shit, and then all of a sudden you see L.A. If you looked at the Earth as a living organism, you would look at L.A. and you go, that's fucking cancer. Right. That's like a growth. What is that? What is that shit? There's some weird shit growing there, and it's got brown smoke coming out of it, and it fucking stinks. It's and it's killing getting all bigger, the trees. And, and it's getting bigger, and it's yeah. getting bigger every year. Well, why is it getting bigger? And what? Why do, why do people just keep fucking having kids constantly? What is this all about? Well, I think that it's our purpose, much like how yeast makes bread rise or mold takes over a fucking sandwich. I think that's what people do. I think we're just a very complicated form. Yeah. Which is very complicated form of bacteria, and all our thoughts on ourselves, all our—it's th- all just biological tricks to keep your ego alive, to keep your biology alive, to make sure you keep perpetuating this this fucking thing, to make make this this human organism, this one gigantic organism, keep growing. When you look at like mold on a sandwich, you don't look at individual mold spores with individual identities and jobs and careers. You look at a pile of fucking mold, you know. <laughs> and that's what people are, man. We just think we're individuals. We're not. We're one collective group. We can't even be away from each other. We get lonely. For punishment in prison, they take you away from other people. I'm a fucking prisoners! Wouldn't that be the best thing to keep me the fuck away from the prisoners? No, that's punishment, dude. We need people so badly that they if you put us in a room with no scumbags and murderers, we get sad. Bro, I missed you. Dude, that was fucking <laughs> But I, it's crazy, but this is it all it, it all relates to the DMT world. This is what I think. Every night when you go to sleep, every night when you go to sleep, you trip for eight hours and you need that. You have to have it. And your body has to have it. You owe that to the grid. Well, I think the whole reason why people are alive, I think there's two consciousness. There's a dream consciousness and there's a waking consciousness. And this dream consciousness might be more <laughs> real than the waking consciousness. Mm-hmm. That might be what our whole biology is about. And this whole complex system of fucking social order and, you know, predetermined patterns of behavior and cultural traditions and all that shit might just be ways to effectively move along the breeding process and make sure we keep adding more to the grid. More people, more animals, more babies, save the whales. We're just trying to save energy. We're trying to contribute more to this dimethyltryptamine grid that you see every night when you sleep, but you can't remember.